Hello everybody, it's Premiere Gal here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create custom lower thirds in Adobe Premiere Pro. One of my friends reached out to me and she was having trouble figuring out how to animate her lower thirds in Adobe Premiere Pro. So I thought, why not share the knowledge with you guys? And to follow along, I'm giving you guys this template that I've made, these lower thirds, to use in your own projects for free. So you can download, I'm using the link below or I'll put it up here. So let's go ahead and get started. What I have here is two sets of lower third options. I have this full horizontal title that I created that animates out, it slides out. And then I have this lower third, kind of basic lower third that I created. The same thing, it slides out as well. So now I want to show you how to create these from scratch. Like how did I get there, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new bin here to show you how I did it. And I'm just gonna put demo and I'm going to create a new title. To create a new title, you click on new item in the lower right hand corner, click on title and just do demo full horizontal. Okay. So if you notice up here in the upper right hand corner, there it says show background video. That shows you what is going on currently in the sequence. So you can just get rid of that. So what we're doing right now is building a new lower third from scratch. So I'm going to select this rectangle tool because I had a long rectangle. You click and drag it across however wide you want. And then you can select the color choice you want. Let's say we wanted a nice blue there and you can change the opacity as well. In the, over in the right hand bar called Title Properties, there's opacity, you can change it to 70 to make it lighter. And then we're gonna add some text. So the text is up here in the left hand corner, it's called the Type Tool. You click and let's go ahead and write out, not Premiere, um, let's do Main Title. And right now it's blue, we don't want that. So if you Command A, select all, and you go to color over in the right hand corner, you can change it to white. You can also change the font. I had before Bebas new, um, and let's change it to bold. You can adjust the kerning if you want. So let's add five, make it a little bit bigger. How about 110? That looks good. You can go back to your arrow tool and you can move it around. You can see here that right now the opacity is 70. Let's change that to 100. Another thing you can do that's really cool is over here um, on the left hand side, you can create a center horizontal and it makes sure that it's directly in the center aligned with these markers in the center, which is really cool. Now we wanted to create a lower subtitle text. So let's call it subtitle. We want it to be a little bit smaller. Let's make it like 60. And let's make it regular. Okay, that's looking good. Fantastic. Whoops. Click on subtitle. Sometimes it's tricky because you have to make sure that you're selecting each item and it gets confused sometimes. Um, so let's go ahead and make sure that that's in the right spot, make sure it's centered. Fantastic. Okay, so we have that title done. Now let's make a new sequence to put this new title that we just started. So I'm gonna go down to new item again in the project panel, hit on new sequence. And we, I was working in before the 1080 DSLR. So you're gonna hit okay. And let's just call this demo sequence. And Gonna open that up and we're gonna drop this title in and you'll see it's there, right? But now there's no animation, it's just there. And also if we go back to what I had here, I had a line that animated in, right? How do you get a line? Well, actually what we have to do is create another title with a line in it and we're gonna animate those two layers separately, okay? So let's go back to the demo sequence and let's click on the, the bin demo. And it's important that you click on it. I like to be organized in my project panel. If you click on the bin and you hit new item, that new item will go 
into that bin, okay? So let's go ahead and go into create a new title again. And we're gonna call this line. Now, this is where it's important to turn on the show background video. So if you click on show, you'll see what is on the sequence. You can't edit it here because you don't have it selected, right? What you have selected is line. You're creating a line over top of this, and this just helps give you a guide for making sure that it's in the right place that you want. So over here, you're gonna hit the line tool, and you're going to draw a line just by clicking and dragging. And you'll see that once it's perfectly aligned, that means it's straight and centered. And let's see, does that look pretty good? I think that looks pretty good. And you can actually use the arrow tools on your keypad to move them up and down. So to get it centered between the main title and the subtitle. Okay, so that looks pretty good. I think I need to adjust this, the, the title a little bit. But first, what we have to do is then drag this new line title we created on top of this other layer title that we have in the sequence. So now you see that this is the base for creating our lower third. So I wanted to make one quick adjustment here to this demo. I wanted to bring this title down. If you have that main title selected and you hit the arrow down, you can move that down just a tad. That looks a little bit better to me. There we go. So how do we animate this, right? So right now, this is uh, pretty long. We don't want it to be, we just want it to be about five seconds. So let's go ahead and use the cut tool by hitting C. It's actually called the razor tool, but you can call it the cut tool and then delete that. So first we want to animate in the text in the background, kind of like what I just did here. So first the main title and background and then that line animates across. So what we're going to do now is keyframe the motion to this title. So you're going to click on the demo full horizontal. You're going to go up to the effects controls and you're going to keyframe the position. Okay. So let's scroll on over here. Let's say we want it to get to this where it currently is over here in the program viewer here. We want it to be there. Let's say 0.5 seconds. 0 0.05 seconds. Sorry somewhere around there or 0.8 it doesn't matter let's just play around with it so you're going to hit the keyframe there hit the caret arrow next to position so you can see what's going on here and then from the beginning you want to take this you want to take this playhead and scroll back to the beginning to the start position you don't want this title to be on the screen right now so we're going to animate it to go to the left off screen so you're going to see where it says 960 here you're gonna just basically scroll it over, see, until it's off screen. And then if you hit play, you see that it just comes in. So where I added a keyframe, that means it's stuck in that place. That's where we wanted it to be. Now, if we pull it back, I just pulled the title that we created off screen. So it starts here off screen and it animates in. And we can move this keyframe over if we want it to be a little bit slower. See? Now, this is where we get to play around with the keyframe and adjust the velocity of, of the curve here. So right now it's just a linear movement, right? We don't have a change in velocity. To change that, you can play around here. It's kind of hard to see, but you can actually make this into a continuous movement, kind of a continuous Bezier, I think that's what it called. What, what it is called. Um, Louisa Winters um, has a course on lynda.com that goes into detail about creating keyframes. And you'll notice that these changed here to an hourglass because it means that it's a temporal keyframe. So now you'll see that the movement is not linear. It actually moves. It starts slow, it gets fast. The higher the curve, the faster it is. And then it slows down again, which is pretty cool. So this is exactly what I did. I created that curve. So now you'll notice that the line is still there, right? Now we have to animate the line to come in. So now what we're going to do is select the line. Same thing. 
we want it to end up here, right? We, we want it to be in this end position. So once this animates on, that's when I want the line to start. So I'm going to do that a little bit after. And let's hit position. Let's go back a little bit. Let's start animating here. So what I'm going to do is pull the line off just like I did with the background and the text. I'm going to pull this 960 over. Now you see the line moving over. There we go. And now you'll see it animates on shortly after the main title in the background animate on. And again, we can adjust it to not be a linear movement. So you see here, if you click on the keyframe, when it highlights blue, you can see that you can turn it into a curve movement, right? So now it's like that. And that's exactly what I did. And at the end, all I did was add a basic slide effect. So I didn't have to do any more keyframing. I just took this slide feature. If you just search for slide under effects, you can click and drag that slide on the very end. And to adjust the speed, you can you can select the end of it and drag it in. And you can copy that and add it to the background and text layer. So now it looks like this. And it's on just for a couple seconds. And then it slides off. So that's it. And I hope you guys found this useful. It's a little bit complicated at first, but you know, I haven't been formally trained in Premiere Pro. This is just something that I've learned over time by going to, to conferences and meeting with people and learning all these techniques. So I hope you are able to use this template and let me know if you found this video useful by giving it a big thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.